as we go along to say God open my heart to receive this word God will when you ask God if you are a father if you are a mother and your children come to you and ask you for something as a loving parent even though we are not as as loving as we we are most times but we still reach out and give them good things the Bible says if we as parents and we are so wicked if your child comes to you and asks you for 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 an egg would you give them a serpent if they ask you for bread would you give them poison or something like that no you wouldn't you would still be kind there is a kindness within you for your own children how much more God who is the ultimate in love and everything else how much more would he give you his children good gifts how much more would he give you his Holy Spirit if you come forward and ask him and this is what this program is all about we want you to come forward and ask God it's a personal thing it's a one-on-one -on -one situation where you've got to come forward and ask God oh God please God give me a Holy Spirit I want to I want to lead I want to change my life around I want to turn around I want to move away from from these wicked things that I'm doing God please help me this is what this program is all about you know Romans 10 13 says when whoever will call on the name of the Lord will be saved it says that so you need to call out on God and he will save you my friend church membership will not save you baptism will not save you uh, getting into any kind of spiritual things will not save you my friend the only thing that's gonna save you is when you reach out you don't even have to know this Bible you don't even have to know the uh, all of these things all you need to know is that you've got to come and say Lord I am a sinner I want you to save me from my sin Lord help me to lead a new life I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior save me Lord this is all you gotta do and God will find a way to get you into this right uh, a path he, he will bring people into your lives that would lead you to find a good church all these things will happen but listen I'm not done yet the road is not ended yet we're gonna soon come up you get your signpost that says Romans 10 9 dash 10 now what does this mean I'll tell you what it means this is the part where you've got to make that decision am I gonna turn left and go east or go turn right and go west or what am I gonna do right here here's what it says my friend you wanna listen to this here's what it says it says if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God has saved him from the dead you shall be saved because you see my friend with the heart one believes you see from the heart the righteousness will come and with the mouth with the confession of the mouth the salvation it becomes complete you see so if, if you just want to say it with your mouth Jesus is Lord that's not gonna save you because it's not blank empty words the heart has to be changed you've got to believe this inside your heart in your spirit God I believe it I've done everything I can Lord I've reached a point in my life I've reached a turning point where I've got to do something Lord and I want to believe that you are the one this is what happens the heart has to express this and when the heart expresses this then it from the things that are in the heart will eventually come out of the mouth and then when this comes out of the mouth God save me Jesus is Lord God will save you if you know that God my friend is knocking on your door you need to let him in and I want to tell you this one thing the Bible says in Ephesians 2 8 is by grace you're saved not of works lest any man should boast you gotta understand this because if, if you can say that I did something and I got saved then the rich all the rich people would be saved so that's not what how it's done you saved by grace it's it's a gift of God not of works less as any man uh, would, would continue to boast about it you see but the good thing is Philippians 1 6 says that he who started a good thing within you he will continue it until the day of Jesus Christ 
So the Holy Spirit that begins this process in you, He won't just give up on you. He's going to continue this right on to the end, my friend. I want you to know this. So when you're saved, you're saved. Jesus said in John 10, Whom the Father gives me, no man can snatch out of my hands. So when you're saved, you're saved. Remember that. So we'll continue this road. The road, it's, it's just around the corner. We ending. I want you to know, my friend, that God is knocking. Revelation 3.20 says, Jesus says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hears my voice, and he opens the door and let me in, I'll come in and dine with him and he with me. And, and Jesus said, I will give him the privilege to sit on my throne just as I sit now on my Father's throne. You'll have the victory, you'll have the power to overcome. This is what Jesus wants to do for you, my friend. My friend, I'm pleading to you in the name of Jesus. I've done this video so that it can make a difference. If I should die today, I'd love that this video would go out to all the people because the words that I've spoken in this video is from God's Word. And it is the truth. God loves you. He wants to save you. The Bible says in John 3.16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in Him will not perish, but have everlasting life. I ask you, in Jesus' name, in tears, my heart pleads out to you. I want you to be saved. God wants you to be saved. Come to Him. A simple prayer, Lord. I'm a sinner. Save me. I believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for my sins. And that now he was risen from the dead and he's alive. And he's seated at the right hand of God the Father. And he will come again. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.